Hey guys, it's April of 2016, uh, which means a number of things. One, tax season is almost over. Thank the Lord. Uh, two, uh, it was my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And three, it's time for quick tips. This tip is for April of 2016, and this has to do with merging things on your lists in QuickBooks. When you have duplicate names on lists, it makes your lists messy. How to merge them. So let's talk about this. Uh, so I'm just going to pick one of the lists in QuickBooks. And by the way, this works with the online edition as well. But I'm going to click the vendors list. Okay. And when you click the vendors list, you'll notice that we have a list of vendors over here on the left. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this side thing here. I'm going to push the arrow to make it go away there. It's a little bit easier to see things now. Now, do you see we have two vendors here? One that one says Alliance Heating and Air Conditioning, the other one says Alliance HVAC. These are the same vendor, okay? The reason why this happens is because when you go to enter a transaction, let's just go ahead and um, we'll uh, get out of here altogether, uh, and we'll go to enter a bill for a vendor, and it happens because we start typing Alliance, but if you're not looking at the screen, you don't really look at it. You're just quickly typing, and you just start typing, okay? And you type maybe the name as you see it on the uh, bill, and then when you get to the end and you press tab, it says that's not in here. Do you want a quick add? So if you were good, you'd stop and you'd say, wait a second, I think this is already in here. And you try and find it, you'd click cancel. But if you're like most of us, you're like, screw it, I don't care. And you just click quick add and there it's added. And then you enter your bill, whatever it is. Uh, we'll put this to equipment repair uh, there, okay? And we'll point it to admin. All right. So that's how you end up <clears throat> with many different vendors that are all really the same vendor. I go to the vendor list and you'll see here's our HVAC air that we've just added. So now we have three of them that are all really the same thing. So this clutters up your lists, makes it complicated. How do you clean this up? Well, the way to clean this up the best way in this particular example is to merge. How do you merge names so that they all co go together instead of being separated? Well, there's not really a merge button in QuickBooks. What you do is you basically decide which one you want to keep. And I'm going to keep this Alliance Heating and Air. And the reason why is because it has good information. It has a good address. It has a phone number. I like this one. Whereas the one that I just created over here doesn't really have any information in it. So I don't really want to keep that one. Now there's a transaction associated with it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically change the names of the two, the, both this one and this one. We're going to change them to the exact same name as this one. All right. And what it's going to do is when I go to change it, let me go ahead and change it. Now, let me give you a trick here. To change the name, there's two different ways you could do it. One is you can actually literally type. And the name you have to change is not the name down here. It's the name up here. This is the identifying field. This is what you have to change. But I can type heating and air conditioning. Okay? And I'll click OK, and I'll change the name. It didn't merge them. It didn't do anything. They just changed the name. Do you know why? Because the name that I changed it to has to be exactly as the name of the one I want to keep. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on this again. And you can see, well, before I do that, you can just see that the names are a little bit different because... There's a space between air and conditioning in this first one, and there's not in the second one. So watch what happens. I'm going to double click. I'm going to put the space in so that it is exactly the same as the other name. You make this a capital. Okay, now it's exactly. I click OK. 
you'll know when you've done it right because it's because it's going to say this name is already being used would you like to merge them okay and then you click yes to merge okay so i'm going to go ahead and click yes it's effects closed periods i got to put in a password here great so now that one is gone it's been merged now what it did was it merged not only the information itself, but it also merged the dollar amounts. Any outstanding transactions got merged as well. Okay, I'm going to do it again, and this time you can see it. So you see on this bill here, hold on, let me get this a little bigger. All right. There's an outstanding bill for this first one of 2,330. There's only an outstanding bill of 2,000 on this second one. Now watch what happens when I merge this one I'm sorry I merged this one into this one now I'm going to give you a, a, an easier way to do this rather than having to remember exactly what the name is so you have to type it word for word on the other one you know you have to type it word for word remembering what the exact name is here's a little trick when you're merging double click on the one you want to keep highlight that top name it should already be highlighted push control and the C button Control and the C button basically makes a copy of it. Then I'll click OK to get out of this one. Now notice the phone number here, 998-2222. Don't forget that number. Now I'm going to go to the one that I want to change, the one that I don't want there anymore. Double click. Now, while this is highlighted, I'm going to push Control and V. V is for paste. Now what that does is that basically ensures that it's the exact same name. Does that make sense? Hopefully that it hopefully it does. Now let me just make this a little bit smaller here. Now I want you to see a couple things. Whoops. I want you to see a couple things. One, you see how they're listed as two different uh, names with two different amounts. One for 2330, one for 2000. When I click OK and merge them, let me go ahead and click OK. This name's already used. Do you want to merge? You're going to see that it's going to not only merge the names, but it's going to merge the dollar amount. So you won't lose any transactions. Okay. The other thing I want you to see is that the thing that I'm merging into, in other words, the name that I keep, that's the one that has all the most current information in it. So when you merge, you want to make sure that you merge to the one that has all the best information. You see this HVAC air doesn't have any name, any address, anything like this. The other one does. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Two things. First of all, watch how the dollar amounts are going to match or are going to add together. You see how it merged and now they're one big number. And the other thing is when I double click on this one, the one that I merged into it's the one that had all the data. Here's the 9982222. So that's the one I wanted to merge into. So uh, that's the um, that's the name that I changed everything to. All right. So that's basically how you merge. It merges the the name. It also merges the transactions as well. You can do the merging not only in the customer list, but you can also I'm sorry, not only in the vendor list, but you can do it in the customer list as well. Uh, here's two of them. I'll go ahead and merge those. Uh, let's see. This is the one that has the information, so I want to keep this one. Control C for copy. Then I'll go over here. This doesn't really have much in the way of information. Control V. Has a phone number, but I'm going to lose that number because I'm changing everything to the one I want to keep. Let me move this over. Okay, you see how they owe us 1,000 and 120? I click OK. Do you want to merge? And got to put in a closing date password again. It's in the past. Frequently you'll get this because it's going to merge transactions from months ago or years ago even if you've set the closing date. If you don't know what the closing date is, then that means you haven't set it and you won't get this warning, so don't worry about it. Ta-da! Now it's merged them. And it kept the information on the one that I wanted to keep. Okay? You can also do it in the chart of accounts list. I'll pull up a little PL here. And you'll see here we have, put it in here. Oops. 
All right. You see how we want have an account called Space Rental and an account that says Facility Rental. I can merge these as well. To do that, you go to the Chart of Accounts list. And I'll scroll down to where Space and Utility Rental is. It's down here where the expenses are. I'm going to edit the Space Rental one. Control C. That makes a copy of it. I'm going to go to the Facility Rental one. I'm going to edit that one. And I'm going to do Control V. So I've basically changed the name. Probably want to change the name in the description as well. And then move this off to the side so you can see this. Um, Alright. This name's already being used. Do you want to merge them? Here's space. Here's facility. I click yes. And it's going to change the transactions as well. So if you've set a closing date, you need to put the password again. If you don't know anything about a closing date, there's a um, there's another recording on it, but just ignore it. You won't even get this warning. And then you see the 10 and the 18. I'll click it. And I have to refresh the report first. So 10 and 18 is separate. I click refresh. And now space is for the total 11,850. And it's just important to understand that when you look at the original transactions that are behind um, these uh, merged uh, items, they're going to have the new names or the new accounts. So a warning, say you have a bank like Joe's Bank that gets bought out by Bank of America. If you changed um, and some of the transactions have been entered as Joe's Bank and some of the transactions have been entered in the future as Bank of America, if you merged them because it was all really the same bank, all the transactions in the past that originally said Joe's Bank even checks that were written will now say Bank of America. They'll say the new account. So if you don't like that, or the new name, so if you don't like that, then don't merge them. Okay. So I think that's everything about merging. Uh, and that was kind of a big one. Hope you got a lot out of it, and I will see you next month.